Welcome back, sports fans. Uh, so, just to catch everyone up on where we were at, um, the last time I was out driving the fire truck, the throttle started surging, and I lost control in the foot pedal. And fortunately, I was able to bring it home um, safely, uh, but I got a check engine light. And the check engine light we discovered in the last video meant that there was a problem with the throttle position sensor. So we are back out at it today, and we're going to replace the throttle position sensor uh, and see if that fixes our problem. So, first of all, the budget of this channel is exactly zero, uh, so I apologize for any wind noise or background noise, you're just gonna have to deal with it. So we got this here off of eBay, um, looked up this part number that was on the old one, and this is a potentiometer, or as Detroit Diesel calls it, a, a, TS, a TPS, throttle position sensor. So basically, all it is is it's a cable. This module here goes inside the uh, accelerator pedal, and this end over here clips into a harness that's below the dashboard. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. Um, so fortunately, you didn't have to buy the entire new gas pedal assembly, or the accelerator pedal, I suppose. You didn't have to buy that again, which is good because those are like $300. This was about $25 on eBay. Looks like maybe new old stock. Um, so we're gonna get to it. So the process for replacing the TPS is, uh, just to make it easy on ourselves. we're going to start by removing the accelerator pedal. Um, we're gonna have to get underneath the cab to do that, so I'll tilt the cab up so we can unbolt it. Then we will take the accelerator pedal apart, install the new throttle position sensor, and replace the accelerator back into the truck. So let's get started by tilting back the cab so we can get underneath and unbolt the pedal. All right, so we now have the accelerator pedal out. And uh, I think I mentioned earlier that this was gonna be rusty and they wouldn't wanna come out and I was right. So this is what happened to, two, two of the screws came out okay, um, but one of them I took out my bit and then the other one took the head right off so I'm gonna have to drill those out or put in some new holes or something so I'm gonna take two of these wire clips off because I ruined two of them trying to get them out so I'm gonna try and save these two good ones and now we're actually gonna get to the meat of the situation here which is replacing the throttle position sensor so the throttle position sensor the actual sensor itself, or uh, might also uh, call the potentiometer, is inside this little compartment here. And I actually just noticed that there's one more screw here in the bottom that I forgot. Let's see if this comes out easily or if it's going to fight. Now we're going to open up this panel. It's just three Phillips screws. And here is the presumably mal malfunctioning throttle position sensor that we're going to replace. So it's pretty easy, just two more screws to get it out of there. And we can take the old one out, out with the old and in with the new. So if you're curious about how this works, you can see here, when the accelerator pedal is pressed, this little, um, I'm sure it has a technical name. I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna call it a slotted <laughs> metal round piece inside a bearing uh, with these little grooves in it. These, there are little grooves here inside of the um, throttle position sensor that line up with the little grooves in here and so when this moves, it turns the grooves inside the throttle position sensor, it changes the potentiometer, and sends a signal to the engine computer how fast to spin the engine. So there's the old one, let's be rid of that. And here's the new one, let's check the part numbers. I mean, this one's got a different 
four digit code at the bottom, but otherwise it's the correct part number. I assume that's a manufacturer date at the bottom or something like that. So let's go ahead and install the new one. Now there should be a grommet in here somewhere I can use. Come on grommet, there it is. That's a split grommet, I hope so. Oh, awesome, it broke. Uh, <laughs> well, this must be new old stock because the rubber just broke when I tried to split it apart. It's completely, all right, let me, uh, let me take a short break and see if I have something else that'll fit in there to use as a grommet to keep it from rubbing up against um, rubbing up against the housing here. All right, I just so happen to have a new grommet in my uh, toolbox that should work. So let's go ahead. Might be a little bit off out of the wrong size, but I think we can make it work. It's a little big, but you know what? I think it'll be fine. I can screw it down tight and it should be fine. All right, now looks to have some the old one had some screws that went in here to hold down the uh, to hold down the potentiometer but this one has some some brass bolts um, I'm not sure what the difference is but we're gonna go ahead and use the new one since that's what came with it now the interesting thing is this potentiometer here can be adjusted so if you loosen the bolts you can actually it's gonna be a little hard to see just because so slight but you can actually adjust the potentiometer um, basically the potentiometer should be correctly calibrated right out of the box um, but there is a um, there is a scan tool you can use to check uh, to see how it's calibrated and uh, that'll be coming up in a future video so but for now we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that this uh, potentiometer throttle position sensor is correctly calibrated and we could just tighten it down and it should cross our fingers it just works right out of the box all right let's tighten this guy down I'm not gonna go overboard just enough to hold it in place so it doesn't wiggle around Okay, so let's hold up here. So if you look very closely, well, it's not gonna focus perfectly, but as you can see, as the pedal pushes, the inside of the potentiometer rotates. And again, that's what sends the signal to the uh, engine computer to tell it how fast to spin the engine. So let's go ahead and try and put this cover back on. Hopefully this grommet will not interfere too much. It's a little bigger. I think it'll be fine. Okay, so now we have a uh, throttle accelerator pedal with a new potentiometer in it, or a TPS, throttle position sensor. Uh, the only thing we need left before we can reinstall it is to go get some new bolts to hold the pedal down. The old ones are very rusty, so I'll run over to the hardware store, get some more bolts, and we'll put this thing back together and see if it works. There you have it. The pedal with the new TPS has been reinstalled. You can see there's some new bolts there holding it into the floor. The only thing I did differently is I rerouted the cable and the replacement manual for the TPS advises you to use the original holes. The only problem is the original holes are back under here and the screws snapped off, so I obviously couldn't reuse the original holes. 
I went to drill a new hole down there to the right of the pedal and there's a steel uh, reinforcement member right behind there that's about half an inch thick so there's no way I was getting through there so I just decided to take a liber little liberty with the instructions and reroute the cable up onto the side of the doghouse instead you can see there it is clipped into the harness up there so let's now that everything's back in place let's give it one more start thing works okay and we'll call it a day there you go working good one more thing before I wrap it up for today if you recall in the last video I mentioned that the uh, ECM code for the throttle position sensor sensor should clear itself after unpowering the after pulling the power from the ECM that was incorrect uh, I was actually reading a DDEC 1 manual uh, this is a DDEC 2 and the DDEC 2 requires a uh, scan tool to clear the codes. So I thought about trying to call around and see if there's any truck shops around here that might still have the tool and stumbled upon one for sale on eBay for a very reasonable price. So that is being shipped right now. It should be here later this week. So when I get the scan tool, I will do another video to show how to clear the codes and hopefully we can put a lid on this one. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.